Hey scholars, Mrs. Darden here yet again. So today we're going to be doing lesson 146. But before we get started, we're going to review a little bit of lesson 145. So what is the opposite of clean? Get ready. Yes, dirty. What is the opposite of dirty? Get ready. Yes, clean. Awesome job, scholars. How many months are in a year? Get ready. Yes, 12. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Good, there are 12 months in a year. Great job. Name the 12 months of the year. Get ready. Good job, we're gonna try that one all together. Name the 12 months of the year. Get ready, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Awesome job. How many days are in a week? Get ready. Yes, seven. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Great job. Yes, there are seven days in a week. Say the seven days of the week. Get ready. Awesome job. Let's try that one all together. Say the seven days of the week. Get ready. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Last one. How many seasons are in a year? Get ready. Yes, four. Name the four seasons of the year. Get ready. Awesome job, let's try that one all together. Let's name the four seasons of the year. Get ready, winter, spring, summer, fall. Awesome job, scholars. Kiss those brains, say I am super duper smart. All right, high five your parents. Tell them I'm super duper smart. All right, here we go, lesson 146. Today we're gonna learn a new rule and play a game. Listen to this rule. If the teacher says seven days in a week, say 12 months in a year. Listen again. If the teacher says seven days in a week, say 12 months in a year. Say the rule. Get ready. Awesome. If the teacher says seven days in a week, say 12 months in a year. Tell me, what are you going to do if the teacher says seven days in a week? Get ready. Yes, say 12 months in a year. Are you gonna say 12 months in a year if the teacher says stop? Get ready. No. Are you gonna say 12 months in the year if the teacher says seven days in a week? Get ready. Yes. Are you gonna say 12 months in a year if the teacher holds up her hand? Get ready. No. Now you're gonna play the game. Are you ready? Sitting like stars. In five, four, three, two, one. What's the rule? Get ready. Yes, if the teacher says seven days in a week, you say, I'm sorry, if the teacher says seven days in a week, say 12 months in a year. One more time, Miss Darden messed up. Say the rule. Get ready. Yes. If the teacher says seven days in a week, say 12 months in a year. Awesome job. <clears throat> Let's see if I can fool you. Get ready. 
seven days in a week. Good, yes, 12 months in a year. Awesome job. Let's see if I can fool you. Get ready, now. Ooh, I know I couldn't fool you. Let's see if I can fool you. Get ready, January, February. Awesome job, scholars. Kiss those brains. Say, I am super duper 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 smart. Yes, awesome job. Let's keep going. Let's see how much information you remember. What makes a vehicle move? Get ready. Yes, an engine. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Good, an engine makes a vehicle move. Awesome job. What do we call a person who works in a library? Get ready. Yes, a librarian. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Good, yes, a librarian is a person who works in a library. What do we call a person who brings your food in a restaurant? Get ready. Yes, a waiter. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Do my snaps. Get ready. Yes, a waiter is a person who brings your food in a restaurant. What do we call a place where you buy a meal? Get ready. Yes, a restaurant. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Good, a restaurant is a place where you buy a meal. What do we call a person who buys something in a store? Get ready. Yes, a customer. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Good, a customer is a person who buys something in a store. Awesome job. Thinking caps. All right, listen, here's some new information. A mechanic is a person who fixes vehicles. Listen again. A mechanic is a person who fixes vehicles. What do we call a person who fixes vehicles? Get ready. Yes, a mechanic. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Yes, a mechanic is a person who fixes vehicles. What do we call a person who works in a library? Get ready. Awesome job, a librarian. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Great, a librarian is a person who works in a library. What do we call a person who fixes vehicles? Get ready. Awesome job, yes, a mechanic. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Awesome job, yes, a mechanic is a person who fixes vehicles. Good job, scholars. Kiss those brains. I'm super duper 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 smart. <laughs> awesome job. High five yourself. All right, next exercise. You are going to say sentences that tell the opposite. Listen, the tire was getting soft. Say that sentence. Get ready. Good, the tire was getting soft. Now say the sentence that tells the opposite about the tire. Think big. Get ready. Good, the tire was getting hard. Listen, the woman worked during the daytime. Say that sentence. Get ready. Yes, the woman worked during the daytime. Now say the sentence that tells the opposite about when the woman worked. Think big. Get ready. Awesome. The woman worked during the nighttime. Listen, the bus ride was very slow. Say that sentence. Get ready. 
Yes, the bus ride was very slow. Now say the sentence that tells the opposite about the bus ride. Get ready. Good, the bus ride was very fast. Awesome, listen, the kitten was getting sick. Say that sentence. Get ready. Good, the kitten was getting sick. Now say the sentence that tells the opposite about the kitten. Get ready. Yes, the kitten was getting well. Awesome, take out your camera. Go, ch -ch 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 -ch. looking good, looking good. I see you scholars. On to the next exercise, we're still talking about opposites. Listen, you learned the opposite of dirty. What's the opposite of dirty? Get ready. Yes, clean. What's the opposite of clean? Get ready. Yes, dirty. The house was the opposite of dirty. So what else do we know about the house? Get ready. Yes, it was clean. Here's some more opposites. The cows were filling the opposite of well. So what do you know about them? Get ready. Good, yes. They were feeling sick. The baby was the opposite of awake. So what do you know about it? Get ready. Good, it was asleep. The tank was the opposite of dry. So what do you know about it? Get ready. Yes, it was wet. The rabbit got up the opposite of late. So when did the rabbit get up? Get ready. Yes, early. The early bird gets the worm. All right. <laughs> the boy is the opposite of tall. So what do you know about him? Get ready. Yes. He is short. The drawer is the opposite of open. So what do you know about it? Get ready. Good, it was closed. The girl was the opposite of dirty. So what do you know about her? Get ready. Yes, she was clean. Awesome job. We are going to go into the next exercise, but you can put your hands up in the air. Touch your feet, close your eyes, turn your head around. Oh, oh, all right, sitting like stars in five, four, three, two, one, here we go. You are going to tell why things are the same and why they are different. Listen, a glove and a hat. See if you can name, see if you can name two ways they are the same. Get ready. Great answer, scholar. So you could have said something at like, you wear them both during the winter time, or you could have said, you can wear them. They're clothing. Awesome job, scholars kiss those brains. So you just told me how a glove and a hat are. Get ready. Yes, the same. Listen, a glove and a hat. See if you can name two ways they are different. Get ready. Great answer, scholars. So you could have said a glove you wear on your hand, but a hat you can't wear on your hand. Or you could have said a hat you wear on your head, but a glove doesn't go on your head. Awesome job, scholars. You are rocking it out. We are gonna keep on going. Are you ready? All right, so we're gonna talk about the classes things are in. Here we go. Everybody, what class is a barn in? Get ready. Yes, buildings. Everybody, what class is an airplane in? Get ready. Yes, vehicles. Everybody, what class is a hat in? 
Get ready. Yes, clothing. Everybody, what class is a store in? Get ready. Yes, buildings. Awesome job, scholars. Here we go. Mm, this one's kind of tricky, but I know you guys can do it. Here we go. Think of things that are made of leather. See if you can see if you can name at least three things made of leather. Get ready. Great answer. So you could have said a belt, shoes, a saddle, a jacket, um, and you could have said a wallet, a purse. All those things are made of leather. So if you got either one of those, great. Next, listen, think of things that are made of glass. See if you can name at least three things made of glass. Get ready. Great answer, scholars. So you could have said a fish tank, a windshield. What else? Mm, a glass. Awesome job. Next one. Think of things that are made of plastic. Let's see who. Um, see if you can name at least three things made of plastic. Get ready. Oh my goodness, scholars, you're blowing my mind with all these answers. Awesome job. So you could have said a plastic bottle. You could have said a telephone. You could have said a comb. You could have said a doll. You could have said a plastic toy. All of those answers were correct. Kiss those brains. Say, I am so smart. Awesome job. Let's keep going. We're going to play a game about vehicles. Are you ready? What's the rule about vehicles? Get ready. <sighs> awesome job. If it's made to take you places, it's a vehicle. Listen, I'm going to name some vehicles, but don't let me fool you. If I name something that is a vehicle, you say yes. If I name something that is not a vehicle, you say not a vehicle. What are you going to say if it is a vehicle? Get ready. Yes. What are you going to say if it is not a vehicle? Get ready. Yes, not a vehicle. Here I go. Listen, bicycle. Get ready. Yes. Ship. Get ready. Yes. Bag. Get ready. Good. Not a vehicle. Why do you say not a vehicle? Get ready. Yes, because a bag is not a vehicle. Listen, truck. Get ready. Yes. Car. Get ready. Yes. Bus. Get ready. Yes. Rowboat. Get ready. Yes. Motorcycle. Get ready. Yes. Taxi. Get ready. Yes. Nose. Get ready. Not a vehicle. Why do you say not a vehicle? Get ready. Awesome job, because a nose is not a vehicle. Listen, ship. Get ready. Yes, train. Get ready. Yes, bottle. Get ready. Not a vehicle. Why do you say not a vehicle? Get ready. Awesome job, because a bottle is not a vehicle. Listen, sailboat. Get ready. Yes, frog. Get ready. 
not a vehicle. Why do you say not a vehicle? Get ready. Awesome job, because a frog is not a vehicle. Oh my goodness, scholars. High five yourself. Say I'm super duper smart. All right, here we go. Next exercise. You guys see? Get myself situated. All right, here we go. Let's make up the rules for these clowns. Look at the clowns who are tall. Listen, if a clown is tall, what is, what is on its head? Get ready. Yes, a monkey. What's the rule about a clown who is tall? Get ready. Good, if a clown is tall, there's a monkey on its head. Awesome job. Um, look at the clowns who are short. Listen, if a clown is short, what is on, what is on its head? Get ready. Yes, a hat. So what's the rule about a clown who is short? Get ready. Good, if a clown is short, there is a hat on his head. Awesome job, let's do those rules again. Think big. What's the rule about the clown who is tall? Get ready. Yep, if a clown is tall, there's a monkey on its head. What's the rule about the monkey who is short? Get ready. Awesome job. If a clown is short, there's a hat on its head. Awesome job, scholars. You got it. You know those rules. Let's go on to the next exercise. Here we go. All right. See if you can find the right picture for each rule. Listen. The man chopped down some of the trees. Everybody say that rule. Get ready. Yes, the man chopped down some of the trees. I'm gonna point to each picture. Tell me if it shows the rule. Does this picture show some of the trees chopped down? Get ready. No. Does this picture show some of the trees chopped down? Get ready. Yes. Does this picture show some of the trees not um chopped down? Get ready? No. Here's another rule. The man chopped down all of the trees. Everybody say the rule. Get ready? Great. Yes, the man chopped down all of the trees. I'll point to each picture. Tell me if it shows the rule. Does this picture show the rule? Get ready? No. Does this picture show the rule? Get ready. No. Does this picture show the rule? Get ready. Yes. All right, here's another rule. The man chopped down none of the trees. Say the rule. Get ready. Yes, the man chopped down none of the trees. I'll point to each picture. You tell me if it shows the rule. Does this picture show the rule? Get ready. Yes. Does this picture show the rule? Get ready. No. Does this picture show the rule? Get ready. No. Awesome job, scholars. Kiss those brains. Or you know what, give yourself a round of applause. Awesome, we're gonna keep on going. Here we go, take a look at this picture. When I touch an object, you tell me its name. Get ready. Yes, an alligator. Get ready. Yes, a snake. Get ready. Yes, a fish. All right, one of these objects is longer than the snake. 
Name the object that is longer than the snake. Get ready. Yes, the alligator. Say the whole thing about the alligator. Get ready. Yes, the alligator is longer than the snake. Awesome job. Again, say the whole thing. Get ready. Yes, the alligator is longer than the snake. Good job. One of these objects is shorter than the snake. Name the object that is shorter than the snake. Get ready. Yes, the fish. Say the whole thing about the fish. Get ready. Yes, the fish is shorter than the snake. Again, say the rule, um, say the whole thing about the fish. Get ready. Yes, the fish is shorter than the snake. Awesome job, scholars. Kiss those brains one more time. Let's see. Let's see if I can think of something to say. I'm super duper 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 smart. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we talked about this the other day. Let's see if you can remember. What do we call a place where you, where fire trucks are kept? What do we call a place where fire trucks are kept? Get ready. Great, a fire station. Let's see if you remember some of the things you see in a fire station. What are these? Get ready. Yes, fire extinguishers. What is this? Get ready. Yes, a siren. What is this? Get ready. Yes, an emergency light. What is this? Get ready. Yes, a firefighter's axe. What is this called? Get ready. Great, a fire pole. Awesome. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What makes people get out of the way? Get ready. Great, listen, the siren. The emergency light, those things make um, people get out of the way. Um, what kind of tool is this? Get ready. Yes, a firefighter's axe. What kind of tool is this? Get ready. Good, a shovel. Say the whole thing about this tool. Get ready. Yes, this tool is a shovel. Awesome job, scholars. We're gonna turn to the next page and talk some more about a fire station. Why do firefighters need fire extinguishers? Get ready. Great answer. So you could have said something, something like to put out little fires or they're used for little fires. Um, next question, what does a firefighter, why does a firefighter need a fire ax? Get ready. Great, you could have said um, something like to break down locked doors or to help rescue people that are stuck in the house. What, next question, why does a fire truck need sirens? Get ready. Great answer, scholars. So you could have said something to warn people or to make people get out of the way. 
What next question? Why does a fire truck need an emergency light? Get ready. Great answers. You could have said the same thing as to warn people or to make people get out of the way. Next question. Why do fire stations have fire poles? Get ready. Great answer. So you could have said something like it's faster than the stairs or firefighters use it when they are in a hurry. All right, because fires are really, you gotta move quick when the fires come. Here's some more questions to think about. Have you ever been to a fire station? Yes, I have been to a fire station before. It's pretty awesome. Have you ever seen a fire? Yeah, I've seen fires too. They're kind of scary. Um, would you like to ride in a fire truck? Yes, I would love to ride in a fire truck just to see all the excitement. All right, scholars, we're at the end of our lesson. So go ahead and take out your worksheet. We're on lesson 146. That has all these beautiful pictures on the front. Go ahead and put your name at the top. All right, ready to start. Here's the rule. Find the chair, I'm sorry, find the chair. All right, here's the rule for this, for this picture. Draw a circle around every piece of furniture. Draw a circle around every piece of furniture. Here's another rule for this picture. Draw a rectangle around every vehicle. Draw a rectangle around every vehicle. Remember a rectangle has four sides. A rectangle around every vehicle. Awesome job, scholars. So we're going to review just for a minute. So you're going to put a circle around every piece of furniture, right? So the chair, the table, and the bed. Then a rectangle around every vehicle. So there's a vehicle, there's a vehicle, there's a vehicle. And the rest of those you don't have to worry about, but you're gonna have to color every single picture, okay? Okay, everybody go to the bottom. Find the people at the bottom. All right, listen carefully. Here's a rule about the person sitting next to something that is the opposite of hot. What's the opposite of hot? Get ready. Yes, cold. So find somebody who was next to something cold. All right, the person who is sitting next to something that is the opposite of hot is wearing a green outfit. All right, so we said the opposite of hot was cold. So if you look at the picture, find the person who is sitting next to something cold. So I see this person is sitting next to an ice cube. So his outfit is going to be green. All right, here's another rule. Find the person sitting next to the container that is the opposite of empty. What's the opposite of empty? Get ready. Yes, full. So be looking at the person who's sitting next to something full. All right. Here's the rule about the person sitting next to the container that is the opposite of empty. 
that person is wearing an outfit that is yellow. So if we look at the containers, that's at the opposite of empty. This one is the, what's the opposite of empty? Full. So she should be having a yellow outfit. All right. Here's another rule about the people who are the opposite of asleep. What's the opposite of asleep? Get ready. Good, awake. So look at everybody who's awake. All those people should be wearing glasses. So just draw some little circles around their eyes. Good. Later, you are going to color every single person, all right? If they don't have a rule about their outfit, just color it a different color. So she should be wearing yellow, he should be wearing green, and they all should have glasses. And don't forget to color the one who's asleep. All right. Let's work, scholars, okay? I'm just checking every week. Let's turn to the back that has the ring, the shoe, the coin. Okay, find the shoe. Four objects are made of the same material. Two objects are made of another material. Here's the rule. Find the four objects that are made of the same material and make those brown. Find the four objects that are made of the same material and make those brown. All right, so if you look here, there's a shoe, a wallet, gloves, and a belt. Those are all made of what? Get ready. Yes, leather. So all four of these things should be brown. Then you are going to make a triangle around the objects that are made of metal. A triangle that is made of metal. Triangle has three sides. So the coin and the ring should have a triangle. And later you're gonna color this whole thing. These should be brown and those can be whatever color you like. Let's go to the bottom, find the bat. What place do you see in the circle? Get ready. Yes, a playground. Some objects belong in a playground. Some objects do not belong in a playground. Go ahead and cross out the things that do not belong in the playground and circle the things that do belong in the playground. Great job, scholars. So we're gonna go through it. Do you find an iron in the playground? No, cross it out. Would you find a bat? I'm sorry, a baseball? Yeah, you can find a baseball at the playground. What about a bat? Yeah, you can find a, baseball, um, a bat at a playground. What about some sand and a shovel and a, um, a a shovel and a pail. Yep, those can go in the playground too because I see a sandbox right there. What about a lamp? No. What about a slide? Yes. All right, scholars, make for sure you color this as well and everything inside the circle. All right. Give yourself a big round of applause.
because we finished lesson 146. All right, scholars, I'll see you next time. Bye.